friends, and welcome to your Friday One Show with Alex Jones. And Chris Evans. Now, tonight's guest played the gentle, sensitive soul Matthew in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Then he played the gentle, sensitive soul James in Sliding Doors. Now, he's back on our screens at the moment, but something seems to have come over him. It's the surprisingly aggressive John Hanna. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How are you? Very good. Thank you. It's all that about, Al. What? It's all that, you know. Oh, I thought you meant the kiss. I no, 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 no. <laughs> the kiss wasn't so violent. No. So, who's the real you then, John? I mean, is it the drip we see in the rom com, or is it the destroyer we see in the Is Spartacus? it the destroyer? Okay. Tough guy, yeah. Which one? Tough guy. Definitely the tough, tough guy. guy. <laughs> That's you all over, see? <laughs> all over, right, right through to the about a millimetre underneath the screen. Right to your core. Yeah. Now, this, this Spartacus show, it's, yeah. it's, it's an amazing programme, but they're, they're filming a, another series now, but you're not there. Well, I'm dead. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't did you I hate it when it? that happens? <laughs> <laughs> I did actually hate it when that happens. When, uh, with American shows, probably with most British shows as well, you get the first couple of scripts and, you know, you base your judgement on that, you go in, you do the script, and then you don't know what's coming next. So the first two or three episodes, I'm thinking... Well, maybe me and Sparty will become buddies and I'll run away and join them in the second series, you know. I can no. see this going on for five years. I could get, you know, a big car like yours. And... But I was dead after... <laughs> no, no, I was dead right. after the first okay, series. So, well, that's a shame, isn't it? So I kind of liked it. So it was the price you pay for all the good things. go out at the top, John, isn't it? Go out at yeah. the top. It was pretty... Yeah. Anyway. Now, John, in honour of your appearance on Spartacus, uh, Foodie Friday is taking on a bit of a Roman theme. I can see that. Dave, yeah. as usual, is way ahead of the game here. <laughs> now, the thing is, John, he actually, he, this is a special outfit. He came like this anyhow today. Yeah. Foodie but, Friday, get up. Okay, Dave, thanks very much. On Spartacus, you got a lot of virgins and stuff, didn't you? And there was, we get him. <laughs> Staying in character, though, isn't he? Seriously. Staying in character the whole time. You don't know he might be a virgin. That's true. Absolutely. <laughs> Highly <laughs> unlikely. Now, Jay has uh, continued the Roman theme with the food, haven't you? Goat all the way. The Romans love their goats, as of course John knows. The, the Romans love their goats because they're a hardy, hardy animal. They were the second animal after dogs to be domesticated. Um, and they were very, very useful because not only could you get meat out of them, as you see over here, we've got ice cream, we've got yoghurt, we've got butter, we've got goat's cheese. What do you think of goat's cheese? John? I like goat's cheese, actually, myself. There yeah. are some people who I think it like... tastes a bit too goaty. Goaty? Well, Do you like that? Yeah. And we've also got, you know, roast goat leg. We've got some curry goat. You can't call it goat curry. Why not? Cultural thing. It's a cultural thing. I you tried want... to get to the bottom of this. You're not going to get arrested, the... are you? No, you're not going to get taken out and beaten up. Down, beaten That's up. really Although nice, actually. With you're surprised, sauce. aren't you? I am surprised. Have we, have we got something else that Alex yes. Jones likes? Can cheese? we have a round of applause for Alex Jones? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's tender. It's very tender, isn't it? It is surprisingly tender. It's cooked for 18 hours. It has had to be cooked for a very long time. There are some people in the goat community who want to pretend that it's as tender as beef or lamb. Mm. Um, some of it, I suppose, there are some cuts that possibly can be, but generally it requires serious cooking. Oh, but I love that. It's a bit tougher, that though, isn't it? Is so not... That is so... That is melting in my mouth. Yeah, that's been braised for oh, a very, okay. very long there, time. I love that sort of stuff. You've had goat before, haven't you, John? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. Are, are we interrupting your dinner? <laughs> Never talk to a guest <laughs> when they're eating. Do what you like, is it? Yeah. Be relaxed, yeah, enjoy yourself. Well, well, eating. As soon as he sees me eating, he asks me a question. Sorry, I do apologise. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens in a restaurant and you're sitting about to eat and you've just put something in your mouth and they come out and say, how's your dinner? And you're... Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So, have Marvelous. you eaten? So have you I have, eaten? yeah. I was in uh, Somaliland, which is northern Somalia, a few years ago with Oxfam, uh, highlighting a lot of the problems and conflicts that were going on there. And we were in this little town called Troon, bizarrely. And they, uh, they, we were great guests for theirs. And they'd made us, uh, they'd slaughtered a goat and cooked it for us. And uh, it wasn't as nice as this, obviously, but it was a massive, massive uh, uh, thing for them, you know, to do that for wow. us. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, it's very nice. Surprise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I like to say, Bravo. Thank you. It makes it special for me. Good. Okay. Oh, oh, that's art. That's high art. Well done, Chris, on camera, whatever it is over there. We've got so many cameras on this show, I can't keep up with, with which one's which. Yeah. Uh, right. so. John, yeah. the yes. new series Spartacus. Now, the first series was described by one TV reviewer as possibly the lustiest, goriest, most willfully red-blooded drama series of the law and human decency will allow. Yeah. Now, you described yeah. <laughs> describe series two as more shocking with loads more gore and even more sex. Yeah. Pretty this pretty must good. be the best job ever, mustn't it? <laughs> it's not easy, Chris. It's oh. not everybody that could. 
<laughs> it's not everybody that could do it, you know. Well, you're looking very well on it. <laughs> nah. Well, it's life's easy when you have those sleeves and stuff. But no, uh, yeah, no, it was because I, I didn't really know what to expect. It was strange circumstances under which I went back, and I uh, wasn't quite sure of the, how the quality of it was going to be, and also not quite sure how do you, as an actor, prepare for a prequel to be younger and less evil, and you know, are you born evil and yeah. you become blah blah all of that bollocks. No, oh, you can't say that, you can't say that. <laughs> Gotta apologise, say sorry. Sorry, I mean, mean it, sorry. mean it, mean I it. Re I really point. do mean it, I am really sorry, because my lad. kids are watching as well. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because you're so relaxed. It's such a relaxing atmosphere on the watch, isn't it? Is. Oh, yeah. Could yeah. he pay for that later? <laughs> <laughs> He'll never appear on the BBC again. No, it's the kids, John I'm Hannah. worried about. John who? <laughs> it's the children, I'm worried about. No, I tell you, it's all the, it's the script in this show, it's all like that, all over the place. <laughs> it does affect you, actually. Now, in the series, you play the owner of the Glad. Uh, gladiator School. Yes. Let's see you in action. OK. OK. Yeah, yeah. There you go. No, that's all. That's all completely fine. But my mum's just been on and she, should, she said I can't talk to John anymore. Because <laughs> he's naughty. Leave it now. <laughs> he's actually sweating he's embarrassed. now. <laughs> so really he's really embarrassed. Even though you only own the Gladiator School, right, yes. you yeah. still suffered a lot of injuries filming. How come, then? I don't know. I don't know. I once had to beat up a dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up covering bruises. <laughs> Where was the motivation to beat up the dead guy? Well, he tried to kill me, so one of my guys had killed him. We dragged him in, we got some information out of him, and then we cut his throat. And uh, in a, 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 a fit of rage, I, I sort of jumped in him and kicked him, and I went a bit mad. Uh, and, I, and I fell at one point, and, and I bruised all the inside of my leg on his sword. <laughs> you, have, you have to stretch before those kind of scenes. Well, you should, shouldn't you? Of course, doing anything physical, you do. You have to stretch out and be ready for it and do all that. And but it's very difficult. The, the death, the whole final episode was done in the rain and this pond and it was freezing cold water and, you know, between takes, you don't really get a chance to go back and stretch out and do your <laughs> yoga and all of that. You just have to get on with it. Hence the collarbone and the broken ribs. And, and Tourette's. The... Tourette's. <laughs> Actually, no, seriously, though, the, the show did affect me in, in terms of... Yeah, we of just saw it! We just saw it! We know it affected you! That was nothing. <laughs> Now, the whole film, uh, the whole series, it looks like a film, doesn't it? It was filmed in New Zealand, mm -hmm. and you took your mm -hmm. wife and your twins over mm -hmm. there. But, I mean, from what we've seen from the clips, it's not the best set to take kids onto, is it? Yeah, but look at the kind of fun I mean, they have. <laughs> 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 oh, it would take them all. Did John, did, did uh, John no, but it was great, actually. Did women and, you know... What, what did you say? Did you say, I'm actually doing Shakespeare, and then they'll see it in a couple of years and then go, No, they ah, came in. In all fairness, it, it was, a, it was a, a great kind of family environment. There were certain <laughs> days... There were certain days where you, you didn't want them on set, but all the costumes were handmade, hand-dyed, yep. all the armour, all the leather, everything was done there. It yep. was like a huge cottage industry, and they would get to go in and play with that. And all right, well, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, is on Monday, 10pm on Sky One, and it is very, very good. It's very original, it's very racy, be careful, but it is good. Very good. Now, while Spartacus um, depicts the brutal physical conflicts of ancient Rome... Those films. Great films. Hmm. Dan's very good. Yeah. Anyway, now, one of my, uh, my favourite films <laughs> is Slide Indoors, and you happen to be in it. It's all about how little events can change our lives forever. Yeah, but what if, John, that had happened for real in your life? Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's theme it Sliding Doors style. Let's, let's go and have a look at this now. There you are with the star, with the Padre in Sliding Doors. But what if... You'd have become an electrician, which you nearly did. Didn't I you? was actually for four years. Well, the benefits, obviously, is you wouldn't have seen that ridiculous haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't it when you were an electrician, though, that one of your friends said, you know, you're good at mimicking people? No, uh, I, I wasn't no. any good at mimicking people. Uh, it was the only thing. Being an actor was the only thing I could do that you didn't need any qualifications for. I couldn't draw, so I couldn't go to art school. I had no levels, so I couldn't go to uni. Couldn't play a musical instrument, so I couldn't go to music school. But anybody can go and be an actor. All right, now you almost became... Let's have another look here, the next one. You almost became a <sighs> pizza delivery boy, is that I true? I know, I aspired to that, yeah. Uh, one of my resting moments, I went to apply for a job at Pizza Express, you know, to, to, to get a job, uh, and they turned me down because I wasn't motivated enough as a, as a <laughs> pizza guy. <laughs> now, favourite topping, should we do that? Yeah, favourite topping, I'd go for a margarita. So would I, keep it simple. Uh, I like the spinach with the egg on top thing. Yeah, but it's all about the crust, isn't it? Is that a Florentine thin, thin, thin Yeah, crust Florentine. Thin but firm. Thin but, Thin but firm has yeah. to work, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I, no, I don't like a fat base. No. Anyway. No. Uh, right, um, and the last one? Uh, let's go to this one. You were nearly John Hannah the guy who turned down four weddings and a funeral. I, I, it didn't seem to me... 
<laughs> well, shows what I know. I, I, it didn't seem to me like it was sort of about... At the time, I was still quite, you know, I was desperate to work with Ken Loach and Mike Lee and do some proper stuff, you know, and, and it seemed a little flimsy. And, but, uh, on the other hand, I'd been out of work for eight months, so, you know, you've got to pay the rent. And that's why you did it? It's kind of, yeah. N necessity? Sort of, yeah. Well, thank you. Don't tell for Richard that. Curtis that. Thank heaven that. <laughs> Said your kids and your wife. Uh, right now. Uh, the clocks go forward this weekend, meaning lighter evenings from Sunday, and there are many more reasons to be excited about the weekend. Yes, Alton Towers and Chessington Worlds of Adventures are opening. Yeah. Yay! The boat race is on tomorrow. Yay! And it's the Triplo Daffodil weekend. Well, Yay! that's off to Triplo. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, speaking. Oh. Triple O. I love daffodils. Good. Good. Uh, but we... Oh, that's a good film, isn't it? Yeah, we won that film. All right, we asked you for signs of spring where you are and you haven't disappointed. John, you're going first. These flowers are outside Laura Carr's front door in Harefield. Very nice oh, they are too. Pretty, how, how, do we, how, do we, how do we know that? Where's the, where's the proof? Well, I was... Just showing about I was reading it. Hey, how about this? How about this? How about this outdoor swimming pool? The Lido, Parliament Hill, uh, just up there in North London, sent in by Nuala Moore Cochrane. That's lovely, isn't it? That looks nice. And this is a nice one. Look, a nice pint. It's the winner! Uh, sent in by Karen Husk, and this is Spring in Cornwall. Yeah, do you like a pint? Well, I, I don't usually drink pints, but that makes you want one, doesn't it? Well, do you know, I think there's a certain thing about a lady having a pint, don't you, John? What do you think about that? Does that do it for you? Um, it certainly used to. <laughs> my, wife, my, wife likes a, my wife likes a pint. I sometimes have a little spritzer or whatever, and she's got the pint. I always really? <laughs> when we go back, you know. All right, well, listen, John, good luck uh, with the programme. It's on Sky One, it's Mondays, so and it's 10pm, and it's absolutely fantastic. Thanks for being here tonight. Very Thank good. you.